What's going on everybody? This is me Alex and in today's video we're going to be talking about my switch from Mac to PC. I quickly want to start off by saying that please do not start the whole PC is bad war fest in the comment section of this video because I will report you. And but I just wanted to quickly tell you that the reason I am switching from Mac to PC or not really switching but I'm going to be using a PC machine for my video editing purposes now is uh, because of a few reasons. It's cheaper and I need an upgrade for, for about six months now and I've chosen to go with PC because I have the option to build my own. Uh, but I'm not going to be building my own. I'm actually going to be buying one that is refurbished off of Newegg. I will show it to you later in the video. But I quickly wanted to let you know that this PC is absolutely amazing that I found. It's an HP Envy Phoenix A10150 and it's absolutely amazing. It's rocking the Intel Core i7-8420 uh, I believe. And that uh, CPU is absolutely amazing for what it can do and cannot do. Uh, really, it can handle almost anything you throw at it. Uh, render a video in about 30 seconds of what it would normally take me on my in my on my iMac right now. About 10 minutes to do it. Render out in 30 seconds. Uh, this one's got 4 gigs of RAM stock, but I'm gonna upgrade it to 32 gigabytes because the, that's what the maximum the motherboard does support. It does come with Windows 8 Pro, which I am actually pretty psyched about because Windows 7 for me really never worked. Um, so I've I'm trying to I've been trying out Windows 8 lately on my Windows tablets and all that stuff. And I've really, really enjoyed it in the past few weeks that I have been using it. Uh, this one does have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 650 graphics card. So it can do uh, relatively well gaming performance at running Battlefield 4 at uh, ultra high settings at 1080p. Rocking still about 60 frames per second. So, and it, this is going to be an air-cooled PC. Um, I really, really love this PC. Uh, I'm buying it right now for about a hundred or not a hundred but five hundred sixty seven dollars right now on Newegg It is refurbished and not new, but it's almost brand new because it has been refurbished professionally done by Newegg I personally like refurbished items just because of their the way they uh, work most of the time and They don't really have any problems wrong with them. I've never in my personal experience had a problem with refurbished PCs but I definitely love them for their money because you definitely get a lot of money off of what you would normally pay for full price. Like in this case, this PC would cost me around $2,000 in order for me to replace it and build one. Um, to build one, I've calculated the cost. It cost me around $3,000 and it wouldn't really be as good as this one or the way I would really want it. The 32 gigabytes of RAM would actually run me close to $300, but it's definitely worth the money uh, that I will be getting out of it for the price of tag of $300 and including the $500 for the computer itself. I really love this computer because it does resemble the old HP Envy Phoenix and it still does rock in the case. I'm not going to be playing to change the case because of the way this would work. The reason I chose Windows over, P over Mac is because of a few reasons. Now I was originally planning to upgrade to the Mac Pro but when I found out that uh, it costs the way I would want to build it. It would cost me over twelve thousand dollars. I sort of backed out of the idea because it's twelve thousand dollars to build it the way I want to with two Intel Eon processors, which are, in my word, fantastic. But the way I chose to buy this one actually performs better than the Mac Pro. I chose Windows because I have been a Windows user since day one. Since I was my first computer was a Windows XP machine, really slow. But after a while of using it, I kind of enjoyed it because Windows XP was, in my opinion, and in most everybody's opinion, Windows' most successful operating system. I really enjoyed this time of using Windows, and in the future, I have moved on to Mac. But I definitely recommend Mac users. But if you are a Windows user, I want to tell you something. Please use a really good antivirus because Windows will go crash boom down if you do not have an antivirus or do not you have one that's active or just have one that's terrible. In my opinion, I recommend Bitdefender or AVG Plus 2014. So we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at the specs of this machine. 
This computer features an Intel Core i7-4820K 3.7GHz processor, 64-bit quad-core processor, 10MB L3 cache per core, 4GB of DDR3 memory, 2TB of hard drive space, DVD RWLS, Windows 8 Pro 64-bit Intel Core i7-4820K available with hyper-threading at 3.7GHz, 10MB of L3 cache per CPU, LGA 2011 connector, 64-bit quad-core processor, 4GB of DDR3 upgradable RAM, 2TB of hard drive space, and optical drive type of DVD RWLS. WLS. The reason I chose this PC versus other PCs is because this one is absolutely amazing, especially designed for video editing because of its Intel Core i7-4820K processor overclockable to 4.8GHz from the 3.7GHz stock speeds. When I was first deciding to buy a PC, I was really debating between a Lenovo K4 110 even though it does have the i7-3770K processor, but when I saw this one on Newegg.com, I just could not resist it. This one had all the specs I wanted for its HP brand because most professional video editing computers are from HP like the ZA20, but I didn't really want to go into depth with that one because that costs a little bit more money and uh, this one seemed a little bit better. I did like the design a lot better and it is an HP debranded which means that the badges have been removed on the outside but on the inside it's still all HP. Uh, it can be customized if you feel free to because it does have extra space for three more hard drives. On the back it is running Windows 8 if we take a look at the little badge right over there. So I really do like the images that Newegg does provide for their uh, computers and it does feature two USB 3.0 SATA cables. I really trust Newegg.com because of their really reliable performance on PCs and their limited one year warranty that automatically comes on all refurbished products when purchasing them off of Newegg.com. I will include the link to buy this uh, desktop PC in the description but in the meantime please make sure you are subscribed to my channel HD Alex Films for the latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films.